All hail. See, there's one thing in this life I can't stand more than anything else. And that's a poor leader. Let's take Auckland's Mayor, Wayne Brown. Auckland had some major floodage going on in the last week. Last Friday, Auckland got absolutely annihilated by floods. So the Aucklanders are looking for their mayor going, okay, so what's the story, bro? What do we do? And old Wayness was nowhere to be found. And all week, he has been in denial of doing anything wrong, doesn't see what the problem is until today. He delivered an incredibly half-assed apology, which amounted to the usual, I'm sorry you were upset with me. And it's pathetic, bro. You've got a lot of Aucklanders, including well-known Auckland figure Dave Latelli, wanting this guy kicked the hell out of his office. And it's pathetic, dude. You are the leader of these people, and what are you doing? Not leading. See, I've always had this philosophy, right? And it's a pretty obvious one, but some people like Wayne obviously don't get it. And that's, if you're a leader, lead. No, I know that's no shit concept, but it's the entire point. It's the word in the description. Leadership. Lead. I mean, people can say whatever the hell they want to say about Jacinda Ardern. And people can say whatever the hell they want to say about Jacinda and how she handled the COVID pandemic. It's mostly stupid anti-vaxxers that don't like what she did. But there are a lot of people that don't necessarily like how she handled the later parts of the COVID epidemic. But she stepped up and she was a leader when New Zealand needed leadership. She had Dr. Ashley Bloomfield there helping her, yeah, but Jacinda stepped up and made the hard decisions, even if they weren't popular, even if she had to eat a bit of shit, she stood up and took leadership. That's what we needed, and that's what her job was. As I say, say what you will, but she did what she was expected to do. She was elected leader of the country. She led the country. Good job. Mission accomplished. Maybe it's because I've got this weird idea of what a leader is and what a leader's meant to be, right? I mean, maybe it's because my ideals of a perfect leader were put in my head when I was a little kid looking up to role models like Optimus Prime. But to me, Optimus is what made a leader. Optimus was this badass leader. He never backed down. He was always there when the chips were down. And when shit came to shove, he was the one that stepped in and made everything right. And I transfer that even as an adult to real world leaders. Now, I don't expect them to be perfect, but I expect them to get their shit together and lead. Lead by example. Be a good leader. Look out for everybody that is underneath you. And it doesn't matter what the role is, whether you're the prime minister of the country, mayor of a town in the country, some dude running the shop down the drag, the head doo-doo sorter at the wastewater treatment plant. Whoever the hell you are, if you are leading people beneath you, do your fucking job and lead, and lead by example. A good leader to me is someone that looks after the people below them. A good leader to me is someone who looks at the person beside them, helping them do the job, has their back, and that person has their back. You do right by the people below you, and they'll do right by you. And that is how I have always seen the role of a leader. I've always seen an effective leader as someone that steps up when needed. A leader is someone you can look at and go, you know what? I look at this dude and I get the feeling Everything is going to be all good because this dude knows what he's doing. I've got belief in this dude. And that's what I've always wanted to be if I've ever been in the head position of something. Now, I've always had like two IC roles, supervisor roles or whatever, where I'm not necessarily the guy at the top. But when I've been in charge and I've been expected to lead, I've done my utmost to lead. And some people might have opinions on how I've done that, but I always tried my utmost even in roles where I didn't have the backing of the person above me, and when the people below me were trying their utmost to be a bunch of obnoxious little dickheads, I tried my best to be a leader. And lead by example and lead in the way I believed in. Let's take this YouTube gig, right? I've always looked at myself as someone who tries to set an example for some of the younger members of the rank community. 
Now I know I'm a small channel, my original channel topped out at 1100 subscribers, but I still had people who looked at me as motivation and an inspiration for the videos they made, and looked at me as someone who got them into ranting. So I always did my utmost, and I still do, to support my friends who started later than me, have come up later than me. Even if they've had a milestone, even if currently their channels are bigger than mine, so I'm still trying to play catch up. I try and support those people. I try and endorse those people. I believe in those people and they believe in me. And I dig that. And I would never intentionally go out of my way to let these people down. What Wayne Brown has done is the complete opposite. He has not been a leader. He has been a pathetic, weak excuse for a leader, not looking at his own faults, not giving a proper apology, and not doing right by the people beneath him. He has not been a role model, he has not been a leader, and he has not been somebody the people of Auckland can look at and go, we're sweet with this dude. He's breached those people's confidence, he's breached those people's trust, and he's fucked himself, because this is already biting him in the ass, and it's going to continue doing so. That's not what a leader does. A leader steps up, a leader leads, and that is what a leader is supposed to do. Call it some toxic masculine value that I have and have always had since I was young, but that's just me and that's how I figure a leader's supposed to roll. And that's how it is. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.